good morning guys it's currently 11 o'clock and i'm just at morrison's after finishing 30 minute fasted cardio trying to come here to do some shopping to make some gains i need to get some asparagus and some bananas and as you guys know it was bank holiday monday yesterday so nobody could come shopping because all the shops shut at four o'clock so i'm driving around right now like a headless chicken trying to find a parking space but when i finally found one there's one right here i'm gonna do some shopping and yeah that's the plan right now Need a little banana basket. Yeah. No, I haven't seen my nan for a while and I was thinking about going to visit today. So do I get her some flowers? It's just like to get my nan some flowers. I'm probably gonna get some flowers. We're gonna get some flowers. I think these ones should do the trick. Got some yellow boomerangs. I'm gonna get a ton of this stuff because pretty much with every meal now, I'm gonna be having asparagus. So I'm gonna get all this. Awesome, cheers, thank you. I honestly don't know why I do this to myself because I come down here seeing all the food that I wish I could have. And there's one thing I'm craving a lot lately and it's crazy because I've never actually tried them before, but it's these, cinnamon swirls. I don't know why I'm craving these because I've never tried them, but I just imagine they're amazing. So after prep, I'm gonna be having some cinnamon swirls. I think I've got everything I need, so right now, I'm gonna buy this. back for about two hours now. I've been spending the whole morning doing emails, doing a lot of work. Right now, I'm just cooking some fish and asparagus. The asparagus is done. I've just put it all in this big pot. And you know what? I'm surprised I don't smell a fish the whole time considering how much I actually eat. Or at least, I hope I don't smell a fish. I don't think I do. I mean, I... I shower and I use aftershave and deodorant, but I just want to quickly explain the reason why I call this Vegeta seasoning because it's actually like Vegeta. I always season my fish, even my eggs, my chicken, everything with it. It's really high in sodium and I'm gonna have to cut it out eventually, but the reason I call it that is because I season all the protein that I consume in my diet with it. Now Vegeta is a Dragon Ball Z anime character who had loads of muscles, so it's almost like the seasoning of gains. I basically renamed Vegeta, Vegeta, just in case he was interested in why I call it that. But like I said, right now I'm just cooking this fish. It'll probably last me a few days, and this is almost done. So we are good, meal number three, meal number four, and meal number five are all done. All we've got left is to cook my eggs, and I don't really wanna like cook my eggs and put them in the pot, so I'll probably do that tonight. Now, for the past few days, while I've been at my girlfriend's house, I've been coming to the gym to upload my YouTube videos because my internet, it literally sucks. Like, it takes 20 hours to upload a 10 minute video, when here, it takes 20 minutes. So they've been kind enough to allow me to upload my YouTube videos here while I do cardio in the morning, but today, we've already done cardio, so we had to do it at a different point because we did cardio at a Elite Fitness in Reddit just after my dad's house, but we just uploaded today's video on the big TV right there. Now, while that's uploading, I actually have some really exciting news and a lot to thank you guys for. Now, last night I got a message from Mark Fit, which is the owner of the company that sponsored me, the clothing company, Rise. He messaged me and asked me if I would be free from the 26th to the 31st of May this month and asked me if I would be able to go to the Toronto Pro Show later on this month. Now, after thinking about it for a while, I was like, uh, yeah, I could probably do that like it, whatever I got in my schedule is is finished because that is that is happening like I've always wanted to go to Canada I've always wanted to go to Toronto and the reason this has come about is because of you guys so thank you so much this month has become like we have Barcelona we have the competition we have Toronto later on in the month and this is all thanks to you guys so I just want to say a quick thank you I appreciate you so much and the only reason these opportunities have arose is because of the love and support you guys have been showing me over this competition prep over the whole entirety of my YouTube situation over the past year and a half and I just want to say I appreciate you and I'm thankful so yeah now this video two weeks until takeover hard body shredding episode 24 has four minutes left to upload so I hope you guys enjoyed the video because if you're watching this vlog chances are you watch this one too I had a really good day yesterday had the opportunity to spend some time with amazing people made a great video and honestly it was a really good day so I hope you guys enjoyed the video but right now guys it is currently almost six o'clock and at seven o'clock I meet my mate Stu at the gym Liberty Leisure we're gonna be hitting a shoulder tricep and hamstring workout so I'll 
probably record that for you guys too. Stu is a really good workout partner and he always pushes me every single workout that we do. So it's gonna be a really good workout. And that's what I need at this point of prep. Like I'm struggling, like workouts are getting hard. My joints are starting to hurt. Like my body aches, I'm weak. My mental state, honestly, like this, 11 days out, it's, it's getting to me now. It really is. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like I'm really struggling with everything. So when this is done, I'm gonna go back, get a meal and then head to the other gym. Apple really did screw everyone over with this situation, the fact that there's no aux cable and they only have like one port in the iPhone 7 because everybody that wanted to use the old headphones had to buy one of these extensions and yeah, well played, Apple. Yeah. <laughs> tatted bro you got some more i've always wanted a fish tank but i just like i think i'd kill them all my dad had a fish tank before and the fish lasted maybe a week this one's been making some serious gains the one over he's there. hiding he's creeping in his home this one i think looks the sickest it's blue it like shines on the side like five pound five yeah. pound tops. and the many head of wire tops the many head of wire ones i always wear they're like 18 pound. <laughs> right guys, so we're already for the gym now. Stu is already, we're about to leave. Before the workout, I'm gonna have a pre-workout drink. We're gonna make it there. A little pre-workout meal, I'm gonna eat it real fast because we gotta kill this workout. Shoulders, triceps, and hamstrings. Let's go. Yo, is that a Nox pump? Yep. Oh, man, I wish I could have them, but they got too many carbs in them. Like, I'm not allowed caffeine kicks anymore. How bad's that? I used to live on caffeine kicks. When I was at Emporium yesterday, my coach was sat on the chairs right next to us and I brought a caffeine kick and my coach was like, what are you doing having that? It's got like creatine, in it, it's got carbs in it, everything. I was like, I thought I was allowed these. But yeah, no more pre-workouts with creatine and too many carbs, which sucks because it was getting me from my workouts, but caffeine kicks are gone. This is literally in your garden and it looks, yeah, it looks sick. And they were kind enough to go and heat my food up and put it in a fancy bowl. We're just about to make the pre-workout drink and you already know what we're using. Glutamine, best BCAA shredded, L-arginine and, oh, thank you, mate. Cheers. Amazing, thank you. And the pre-workout meal. Mate, the best glutamine is the best one. You get shredded, the best BCAAs. <laughs> Nah, go do it again. Okay then guys, we're almost finished the workout. I'm so sorry for the lack of workout footage. We only have like seven workouts left though. Until we step on stage, I just wanted to make the most out of this workout. Stu pushed me, Luke's here too, killing triceps. I'm sitting for a while. But we're just gonna finish off on a few more sets. I'm gonna head back, get a post-workout meal, then head off to the gym later on tonight to do cardio because the gym is actually like a 30 second walk from my house. And right now, I'm so hungry, I'm dead, and I'm thinking I'll benefit from cardio a lot more tonight. So we'll get that done. But right now, got a few more sets, then we're gonna head back. Team BPI. Bro, you haven't cut the sleeves off? I don't know. You, you gotta cut the sleeves off, man. I'll cut off tonight for you. That's what it's about. You can do this. 11 days. 11 days. Yeah. 30 minutes. Now, now we can go home. Right guys, so we're just finished cardio. We're about to head back. It's currently 25 to 12. We've got one more meal to eat. I got a little bit of work to do on the laptop. I need to edit a portion of this video. I'll do the rest of the morning before plastic cardio, but we just had to, okay. 
God, I'm not even gonna cut that clip. Honestly, I'm dying. I'm so, that was good. It felt good. I feel closer and I needed that. So the owner was kind enough to sort me out with these three tubs of egg whites because I've just run out, but he was nice enough to sort me out. I was gonna buy them, but he was like, you know what, you can have these. I'm gonna be helping him out in the morning with a video to advertise the gym, just like a quick one piece walk around, just like no cuts, just like advertising the gym. So he sorted me out with those, but right now I'm gonna head back and get my last meal. The person that never made a mistake, never tried anything new. I like this, this is cool. How do I make you stay? When it's easy in the kitchen, oh.